Was that going to the or outside? Wait, you need to sit? Hi, this is Brian Conkle talking to you from Fall That Farms. We are just getting ready for the 2017 bow season, setting up some beautiful stands, courtesy of myself. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so lame. I do you like a queen. So here's this show. We've known each other for a while, no doubt. So just a mystery is what my plan's all about. Plain and simple. Oh, yeah, I watch how we did your home. Sing a sad song. Let me usually belong. We can hop into my whip and take a trip. Alright, guys, we're all loaded up. As you can see, courtesy of BK Stand Building Enterprises <laughs> and KK Stand Building Enterpri Enterprises. I'm gonna get the diesel fired up. Off the bank, you got your wish. I'm finally having someone good to you and that's it. Chicken it exclusively. Alright. First stop. Yesterday, put together a little video, food plot update. Now we're gonna hang stand in it. Um, one of one of Brian's stands that he actually bought. <laughs> first bought. first tree stand he's ever bought. It's a big accomplishment in his life. Most he's a, people, he's a baller. Come most real hardcore bow hunters have already bought at least 15. He's all in on his first one. Don't go broke and never let it end. Ain't no secret, nah, baby. I'm straight up. I love a nine to find out, but I handle my business. Word up. I'm yours to have. Tyler clearly needs to work out. Not going too well. Hey. Should be perfect. Oh, I see a big. I see a doe right now. Doe with her fawn. Do you actually? Oh, that's a shooter right there. I'm gonna. Just have to have her turn broadside. Map, <laughs> Chrissy, turn broadside. <laughs> Tink. <laughs> no, it's a good stand. Bigfoot makes really good stands. It's got a little coverage from the tree here. We got some beautiful sunflowers that were planted by Tyler. We got some rape. Probably can't say that, but I just did. <laughs> we got some sweet, or some uh, field corn there. Me a blood stand. The next blood stand. All right, sick. This is awesome. This will be good. We're up in a new set that we just hung about August 11th, August 12th corn behind us and uh, in a previous video I was talking about this is my little field of dreams got apple trees chestnuts and that little um, half-assed screen so the deer are gonna come through here I'm gonna have a shot right there I'm gonna have a shot quartering away right here the pond is funneling them in here tomorrow I'll probably come and plant this rape it seems like it's dry enough so deer come out of the woods come hopefully they'll feed an alfalfa come skirting through here put the kill shot on right here run die in the cornfield their destination is the soybeans deer love soybeans they love alfalfa and they're hopefully gonna love me sticking them in the heart in a month so feel the dream set is set bye All right guys, good morning. Uh, we've had quite a few projects going on. Woke up this morning, we got a lot of little projects that we're gonna try to accomplish. Got the tractor loaded up. We are going up to the field dream stand. Yesterday we set up a tree stand. The day before I kind of just went through 
why it's such a good little area, a little pinch point, got the pond there. And today, the final little glue that needs to be done is getting that little 10 foot strip by maybe 80, 90 yards of rape put in. So I got the tiller, and then also I gotta mow a trail so that we can get in there all the way around that cornfield. Um, so we can get in there without bumping. We won't bump a single deer if I do this right. And I've been able to do it pretty good in the previous years, so. But I think it's it's gonna be better than it's ever been. That tree stand looks awesome. So, got the truck, the V10, rigged up. Let's roll. spot is looking killer. Uh, I did a little update from here a few days ago and kind of just talked about how the deer come through that little corner, come out and feed the alfalfa and eventually make their way to the soybean field over there. And yesterday we hung a set up in an oak tree and today I got out here and did a little rotor tilling. Needed the soil to be dry enough, it's pretty wet. Um, it's good up here. This is gonna turn out awesome. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen down there, but as long as anything grows, I'd be happy. Um, that's kind of spongy, super high organic matter. But ended up making this spot a little bit bigger than I had sprayed, but man, this soil is just cherry and tilled up real nice, even with some established alfalfa in it. So I'll plant rape through here. I'll plant rape down there, and I'll probably have some action in that stand. I normally set a blind up here, but I'm just thinking they always go to that soybean field. Why not just lay off of them, wait for them to come through. They'll be a lot more settled down and natural. And I mean, there's it's a perfect tree. We got four different separate huge limbs coming straight up, not even limbs, trunks coming straight up in that tree and I'll be able to set up, either shoot them right through here or wait for them to come by and hit them in this gap, quartering away. I'm pretty pumped. I'll be back up here in a couple hours to seed this, but looking good. So we're back at the Field of Dreams and tilled it up this morning. Just seeded it with this ancient, yet probably the best seeder. It actually throws it up in the air versus just kind of horizontally. It throws it up and you can see where it's at and really nice and even for these smaller seeds that were spreading brassicas and clover. Got mainly brassicas down on this end where it's better soil. And then down in the muck we got we got everything really. I threw some clover, some turnips, some brassicas, just to see, I don't know if anything's gonna grow down there. 
but got the Ranger on the call to Packer and we're gonna get this he's on his last pass packed in we got some rain coming Wednesday it's currently Sunday and we should be pretty much set to go Right, guys we got a lot accomplished sitting under the old apple tree I mean this thing is loaded but food plots are officially all in and I haven't even shown you all of them but some of the little or small dinky ones that I had an opportunity to go check out yeah earlier this week and then these ones that I just did today we got one down here and one down there up there um, are officially done we're getting rain Wednesday and should be good so I don't know what's coming down the pipe I think I'm gonna try to sit in the stand here um, the season's not for another month but I'm gonna try to sit in the stand and videotape some big deer so I might put a video together of that but for me and the old hound dog we are out wild and out so we're gonna head home get some food and relax Hit that rabbi. Hit that rabbi.